So over here you can see that I have a bunch of task lists and some resources are assigned onto them. And sometimes as you assign resources, uh, what might also happen is you might over allocate some resources. And if you want to uh, know the over allocated resources, then what you can do is you can click on the Gantt chart um, button right here or under the choice right here under the task. And then what you can do is you can go around over here and go to the resource uses section right here. So once you go around over here, you get the resource uses as you can see right here and you can scroll around onto the side and see the different uh, resource allocations as you can see right here. Right now, does it, it does not seem like anything is over allocated and there is nothing uh, that is over allocated right now. So let's just go around onto the Gantt chart view right over here itself and then just um, over allocate something. So over here you can see that brainstorming, story writing and script writing is uh, there one after another. But if I were to go around and then let's say uh, over, um, uh, over allocated, that is I'm just going to go around and remove out the link right here. So let me just unlink this out. And once I do that, you can see that I can just go around and change around uh, the time right here. So I'm just going to go around change this time right here and you can see that they are overlapping now as you can see right here. So once uh, the same, um, once the tasks are overlap, what happens is that you can see that the script writer is assigned on to two different tasks now at the same time, which is an over allocation. So if I were to go around over here onto resource uses now, you can see that now it says script writer in red, meaning script writer is over allocated because there is more task. So if I were to go around and scroll, you can see that this is the over allocated section right here, which makes it easy to identify what is being over allocated for the script writer, as you can see right here. And you might want to consider changing out the task right here. So you can go around onto the Gantt chart right here, and then maybe you make uh, some adjustment right here just like this and once you go around on to uh, the um, um, resource uses now they are not over allocated as you can see right here. Well, let me just go around and then go around on to the Gantt chart itself now and let me just go around and uh, just go around over allocate this let's say for example I'm just going to go around and unlink this out right here. So uh, let me just click on this so it's unlinked so I can over allocate this as well. So once this is done, as you can see, I can go around over here onto the resource uses and you can see that it is over allocated now once more. And that is how you can go around over here. And then uh, let's say if I have more over allocated tasks, so I'm go just going to go around over here. And let's say this is the editing software right here and the editor is assigned. Um, as you can see right here and let's just go around and over allocate this as well. So I'm just going to go around over here and unlink this. So let's just go around and unlink and now you can see that they are over allocated now. So if I were to go around onto the resource users section, now you can see the editor is over allocated over here just like this as well. So if I were to go around onto a resource right here, you can see that this is the editor and right now you can see all of the over edit um, uh, over allocated resource. But over here, once uh, you select the first over allocated resource, you can just go around and then click on next over allocation and then it'll go to the next over allocation as you can see right here, just like this as well. So this is the task as you can see, but for the editor, you don't see the task. So you can just click on scroll to task as well and see the over allocated time right here just like this. So this makes it much more easier to manage out the resource in the in the long run and you'll be able to know which of the resource are over allocated. Now let me just go around over here and let me just press control Z, control Z and then let me just go around and link it so that the over allocation is not there anymore. I'm just going to go around and unlink this out over here just like this as well and then just link it out right here so that they are not over allocated. Just go around and click and drag this out right here and you can see that I've rearranged everything and now if I were to go around onto the resource uses, now you don't see any red marks and you know that they are not over allocated.
And that is how you can go around and then see um, and identify the over allocated resources to make sure that your resources are not over allocated in the first place by using Microsoft Project. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.